Hey, how you doing? We're continuing in the book of Galatians all the way into chapter 5, verses 16 through 26. So let's see what that says. So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other, so that you do not do what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under law. The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you as I did before that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have, have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. So, uh, this section, I think, this is just a quintessential description of how we walk in the truths of God. You know, not forced to do so by the law, but walking in step with the Spirit of God, rejecting the sinful nature and uh, yielding to or getting in harmony with the Holy Spirit and having the fruit of the Spirit come forth. So... How do we stay grounded in the freedom we have in Christ? Because we don't want to have that freedom lead us into, uh, into sin. But what does it say? So I say, verse 16, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. So it's very simple. What we want to do is live by the Spirit, not, uh, not gratifying the desires of the sinful nature. We want to reject the sinful nature. And we want to embrace the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit in our hearts, guiding us, connecting our hearts with the heart of God so that we can grab hold of that. Then you see the two lists that we read, the acts of the sinful nature and then the fruit of the Spirit. And it's not about memorizing the lists, but it's about getting in tune with the Holy Spirit and then rejecting the sinful nature. I think uh, the whole idea is that you don't have to memorize the lists, but you'd be able to tell automatically without having to look it up if, you know, if self-control is in <laughs> one list or the other, if discord is in one list or the other. You know, you, you, it should be pretty easy to tell which one is in the good list and which one is in the bad list. And let me tell you, uh, you can tell the difference. Don't pretend that you can't. God sees through that. He's super smart. So don't don't try to pretend that, oh, you know, don't, don't try to pretend. So let's pray because this is the key. Let's pray to get deeper in tune with the Holy Spirit of God. Because again, it's, it's not about following the law. It's about being justified by grace through faith and then being in tune with the Holy Spirit to lead us into obedience to God and in a good way, you know, not being forced, but really getting it and, and understanding and being enlightened and strengthened into the best things that are there, the ways of God. So let's pray to be deeper in tune with the Holy Spirit. So Heavenly Father, thank you for your great plan of redemption. Thank you that you lead us into connecting with you and obedience to you and walking in your ways through your spirit. Lord, help us to be deeply in tune with your spirit and reject the sinful nature. We know the sinful nature just leads to destruction. It leads to harm for ourselves and for others. Don't let us believe the lie that, you know, that's the better way to go. But Lord, we know that walking in step with your spirit is the way to walk in the center of your will and to receive the good things that you've got for us. And so, Father, help us to be deeper in tune with your spirit. Let us not try to trick ourselves thinking that, 
You know, we don't realize something is wrong when we know that it is. But Lord, let us grab hold of your truth and walk in step with your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.